Hey, what's up? I'm Inezalea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I'll be showing you how to create a really clean and professional title in Adobe Premiere Pro using the new title designer. It's really easy to create something really cool and clean. So yeah, let's open up Adobe Premiere Pro and get started. <laughs> Here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro and today I will be showing you how to create a nice clean cinematic title animation in Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get started. The first thing that we'll do is create a new sequence like so. Um, so once you have your sequence go to the text tool and click with the text tool in your program monitor like so. I will write something down in caps tolerated cinematics. And there we go. I will select my text and go to the text tool right here. Press L on my keyboard and I'm going to search for the font Lado. I really like this font. It's a free font that you can find online. And I will scroll down. Right here I will change this to a bold text title and maybe make it a little bit smaller. I will change the spacing and well I will change it to a centered text and the spacing to 300 just to give it a little bit more of a cinematic look. Uh, it really has more space and it fills in uh, the screen a little bit better. We'll uh, change this to 85 I think for the size. So let's select my text again. Control A, 80. And there we go. And I think this looks alright. So what I will do now is go to Window and go to Essential Graphics right here. And then I'll go up here and make sure that we can align, transform this in the center of my screen. So we have our title. I, th I still think it's a little bit too, too large. I'm going to change it back to 70. And there we go. So now we can start on the animation. Go to the effects controls right here. And at the beginning of your timeline, well, first drag it out a little bit. I want my title to last for something like six seconds. At the beginning of my title, uh, well, sequence, at the beginning of my sequence, I want to change my opacity right here in the effects controls to zero. This will automatically create a keyframe, then go to two seconds, change it to 100, go to four seconds right here, and click on the diamond here to create another keyframe. Then at the end of our timeline, I will change this back to zero, so now it's going to fade in, fade out like so. I will select all of my keyframes right here, right click, and change it to Auto Bezier. And that's going to soften our animation just a touch. So it's going to smooth out um, the harsh cut and stop, all well, the start and stop. So, and there we have it. We have a smooth animation, looks pretty clean. We want to add something more. We go to effects, video effects, and I'm going to choose blur and sharpen and, and go for a Gaussian blur right here. I will apply this to my text and scroll down to that effect in the effects controls. At the beginning of my timeline again, I will create a new keyframe for the blurriness and set it at 50. Then at 2 seconds I want to change this back to 0 and at 4 seconds I want to create another keyframe for the 0 value and at the end I want to change this back to 50. So now we have it fading in like so, really clean in my opinion. Alright, so that looks very cool. We want a little bit more of a dynamic feeling to it. So what we will do is go back to the beginning of our timeline and click on the stopwatch for the scale. Go to the end of your timeline and change the scale to something like 10, uh, 110. And there we have it, so now it's going to zoom in very slowly, very nicely, and it's going to look very cinematic. Okay, so this is what we have, we'll pick my selection tool, and what we can do now is click on that text, go to the essential graphics, um, and I'm going to hold alt and drag this on a new layer, like so. Click on this layer, click on the text, and I'm going to pick my text tool right here, I'm going to change this to subscribe, well, subscribe for more. And there we go, I'm going to select everything and I'm going to make it smaller like so and change it to a light font there we go and also I'm going to move it down a little bit right here for this text I want to actually move it up a little bit so I will do the same thing right here but on the opposite side click on this text and it looks pretty nice so now we have both of these uh, titles to actually fade in I still want this to move a little bit more downwards like so and there we have it really nice 
So now I want to click on this layer and actually offset it just a touch so it actually comes in later a little bit like so. Really nice. Now we have a nice clean title that fades in and fades out in Premiere Pro. Really easy to create but it gives it a very cinematic look. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give this video a like. Also subscribe to the channel for more and definitely check out our website. We have a bunch to offer for filmmakers, motion graphics artists. We have templates, packs, really crazy stuff. Definitely check out our website. A link will be put in the description and then I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.